The trouble with the human race is they do too much working and not enough thinking. One of the hardest things in the world is to get the little grey cells working and people can't make the effort. It's one of the hardest jobs it is to think about things and try and analyse them for yourself. All artists, they wake people up, don't they, to see things that the people have never realised. They reflect life in so many various different ways that people become aware. People probably see things that they've been seeing for ages. Through art, they begin to see these self-same things in an entirely different way. One of the greatest tragedies of society today is our families neglect their old people, their fathers and mothers. I think most human beings underestimate children. It's true that children start off not knowing the rules of the game and they just act arbitrarily according to their feelings. But I think the main thing to children is to try and explain to the best of your ability. Explain to them why they shouldn't do this. Simple, really. I think anybody, any child, any man who grows up should be, most of all, he should be intellectually honest with himself. Don't kid himself. Look at things, try and analyse them and look at them and whatever impact they have on him, don't evade it. It's very difficult to analyse happiness. Happiness just happens to you. through life you know and you're fed up one time and then some things happen it's like a chemical thing that happens to you and uh, it's just as the happiness is beginning to stop that you realize how happy you've been I was old, really, before I realised how marvellous classical music is. Well, Stravinsky and Beethoven, Sibelius, to me, was just a lot of noise. It didn't make sense at all. But gradually, one became, you know, just listen to hear things, and uh, that was it. I was hooked. Picasso, all the abstract paintings, they never got through to me. And I just, I didn't condemn them, but I thought, well, what's it all about? What does it mean? What, what does it look like? But, you know, till I went to see a, a continental film. And there was this film of Picasso on, where he paints on a, a grand glass screen and you see the strokes go on. And to see him start with the bare, bare screen and draw these lines quickly and rapidly, it all, well, just like that, I could see the line, the shape. But I can imagine a fellow like me can go right through life, and if he doesn't, if this little spark doesn't come, that, that this thing doesn't happen to him and it doesn't spark him off, he, he, there's a lot of things he, he can never understand.
when I'm working, it's a form of schizophrenia because I've got to have a split mind. I've got to keep my eyes open all the time and I've got to, how shall I say, put it over, all the hand movements and faces and gestures to cars coming past and people I might see or a situation that may arise, someone walking across. And I'm always cracking the sides to the girl on the accordion about things that's happening. I'm not really taking an interest in the act as such because I can do it, you know, as a, like walking along the street. It's like a, an outward thing, over and above the act that's going on all the time, but to, uh, because now the act to me is routine. stand out more than others. Apart from when I'm looking down the road to see if I can see the police coming along, I, um, I try and imagine what they do, um, how they earn their living. I really do like people and I, I think um, if you live just a very ordinary life, I think you miss a lot in life because you can't get other people's points of view. You don't know how the other half lives. Women have always wanted equality, so if they want equality, then they must work. They can't expect to sit back. If they want something, they've got to go out and get it. I think it's a good thing because their interests are more varied. Then your husband doesn't become bored with you. He's not apt to stray if you can converse with him and you can have interesting discussions. Well, if you're if you're at home, you can't. What will you? What can you talk about? I think I would have liked to have been a mortician. Um, to pretty the bodies up for the coffins and things of this kind. But it's one of those things I, um, I just like. Shall we say it intrigues me, it fascinates me, death. Dead people, you know. very easy to get along with. This applies to the drummer also, he's um, a happy sort of a chap. I think 
they like to play darts and dominoes because it, there's a lot of skill attached to it. Well, let's face it, we never really grow up. We all like to play games and we all like to win. And this is something that um, will always be with us. That's how old you get. There's always a certain amount of uh, boy or girl in you, even if you're 90. I think, well, there's something radically wrong here. There must be something wrong with my music. Um, no, I like to see them happy. Um, people are miserable. Oh, they miss a lot. I think it keeps you young, having a... You know, being jolly. It's good for my point of view that the pubs close at 11, but I don't think it's a good point of view for people who like to go and have a drink and they, they're ruled by the clock. I think it's a terrible thing to be ruled by the clock. 